Hello and welcome. Let's jump into the Leonardo Design Studio. Its landing page looks quite similar to something you might see with Cricut Design Space. You can look for inspiration, learn tips on how to sell your creation, and a splash of color because Caesar does sell vinyl and HTV. On the sidebar are navigation tabs. You can use these tabs to jump into a knowledge base where you can look up training videos on how to use your new machine cutter. The inspiration page is very similar to the front page of Cricut where you can click on a project, see what you need to do to make it, collect all your supplies and there's the instructions and go ahead and make it. I am going to make this. Actually, I'm going to do the t-shirt version of this. You can also look in the drop down and look for other theme designs. Um, I think they're still filling in uh, some of these projects. The next thing is featured categories. This looks very similar to the shapes and images search you can find in Cricut. You can do the same thing. You can look up categories. The next tab is material library and I kind of like this. In the material library, you can click on any type of material that Caesar produces and sells and get background information on that particular material. It shows you the type of material, what it's really good to what material will it really work well with. It's a really good background information for all the material that Caesar sells. The next tab is for your cutter registration and you have a personal space of your own, which I haven't set up yet. But when you're in here, the most important thing you want to click on is, of course, the design button. Welcome to Caesars Leonardo Design Space. Leonardo Design Space retains the homepage navigation bar. There are two floating action bars on the bottom left and the bottom right. To your right are the artboard settings. The artboard has an active matte display similar to the silhouette design space. The white space outside the active matte area is useful for placing designs not ready for cutting or printing. You also have the ability to move the working area or that cutting matte design anywhere on the whiteboard. You also have a magnify button that you can use to magnify your design. On the bottom left are a series of icons that get activated once you start moving items into your working space. The default artboard setting is a cut setting. For a print and cut, select the print and cut job setting. And once you do that, you see the icon in the artboard displays registration marks. And what that's telling you is it's acknowledge the fact you want to do a print and cut. Next, select your print size. Notice there are no registration marks in the work area. To add them, go to the artboard and select page marks. The registration marks now appear on the cutting mat. Another interesting thing about this is you can resize the registration marks. You can make the area smaller. Um, you can really customize just where you want the print and cut to go. And I think this is pretty good if you want to conserve this paper. And it also tells you if you move out of the print and cut area, if you were to inadvertently do that, the registration marks will turn red. Now let's see two ways to import images into the artboard. Let's go into the design library and pick an image for a print and cut. I think I'll select this pumpkin. Just click on the image and it will open into the active workspace. And now if you notice, if you highlight over it, you'll see a green square box. And that's not something we want. I want this pumpkin to be outlined. But what we really need is the contour button. So we're gonna click on that. Pops up this screen where it says, hey, what do you want to do with this? Is this a print and cut? Or are you going to edit the contour area, cut only? We're going to do a print and cut. And what this is going to allow us to do is to set 
outline of our print. So you can actually move that contour line further away from your uh, design or closer to your design. And just add it to your... Now, if we highlight over this, you're going to see the green line. And that is where the Caesar is going to cut. We don't have the square anymore. So I'm just going to minimize it and move it to the top right of our principal area. You can manually adjust the height and width of your image. In the Properties section, there is a space to type in your custom sizing. Below the height and width, there is a checkbox checked for proportional resize. By checking this box, it ensures your image will maintain an appropriate aspect ratio. Way to go, Leonardo! Looks like I'm doing this the hard way, with copy and paste. I did not enable the keyboard shortcuts. Not sure why. A second way to import images into the Leonardo Design Space is to select a file from the top left taskbar. Select Import Files, then navigate to your stored images or cut files. It may take a hot minute to load my files. All right, I'm going to select a random image file and bring it into the design space. It already has highlighted the cut area for this. I have the ability to smooth out these lines a bit or to take out any, any areas that I do not want cut. So I unclicked include holes, so the picture arm will not be included. The cut is just going to go around the outside of the tea kettle. At this point, I can change the offset if I like. I can make the offset much wider or very close to the image. I'm going to leave it alone because I want to check the precision of this cut. Okay, I'm just, again, if we look in the properties, the proportion has been checked, so I'm just going to resize it, randomly resizing it, and going through the copy-paste again and again. Oops, forgot to do that. Hold on. Paste. Here we go. Paste. There we go. Alrighty, I've shown you two ways in which you can import images for your print and cut. All we're going to do right now is make sure everything is where we want it to be. And then we're going to click on Artboard to make sure we're at the print and cut. We have our page markers selected. Everything looks good. The cut size looks good. Now we are going to click on Send Design, bringing us into the Print Configure area. We can select our printer similar to Silhouette and Cricut. Select your printer. Ensure your print and cut paper size is appropriate. Always double check your print size. Make sure you select the image print as you are going to place the printed sheet on the cutting mat. Select print and the print dialog box appears. Click on print. Once the sticker sheet is loaded, select cutting contours panel then click Send to Printer. This concludes a brief tour of the Caesar Leonardo software. If you want more, like and subscribe. Happy crafting!